Hello everybody, this is Commander Rick56 coming at you with another review. This one being another Arms Micron review. This is AM16 Jet Viacon. This guy is pretty full with his awesome looking like light purple. Not pink, light purple. It all depends on the light that you throw at it. And it just gives a nice shine. Plus, it gives distinct differences between all the different Viacons. And he's got this gorgeous arms micron along with him. Igu, I think is the name. It turns into Iguana. This guy is so shiny. So shiny. Anyway, enough of the shiny. Oh, some more shiny back there. I am a 90s kid. Shiny distracts me. So this is your typical Viacon. Got the, the same head, chest, although he may look the same. Lots of him is actually remolded and redesigned. You got the arms, the shoulders, the back half, actually the back here. A lot of the legs, only the front parts are really the same. And that part right there. The rest, especially for jet mode, just looks so different. And all the stickers are just goody goody. You got the nice shiny ones here. You got the shiny ones on the legs. You got a sticker on the chest. Which, wait a minute, is that underneath the glass? Yes, I did it. But you know what? It's dangerous. I almost broke the screen off. So you gotta be careful. There's pins right there. There's a clear pin. And there's another one on this side. The other one is the one I punctured open. So you gotta be real careful if you actually want to do that. Because then that way all your Viacons look gorgeous. Instead of just one with some sort of tattoo slapped on his chest. Talking about me? No, I'm not talking about you. Finally, you're reviewing a jet. I'm proud of you, Commander. You wanna be a seeker? No. That one doesn't count, Hand. Ah! Doesn't Megatron want you dead? N n don't tell him. I'm out of here. I don't think he'll be bugging us anytime soon. So, let's get some comparisons, shall we? We got... Who's that? Little tiny jet vehicle. He's surprisingly smaller. Let's go down a few levels, shall we? We have his Prid counterpart. Looking all dark purpley Decepticon y like he should. Seriously, I want a gun for this guy. I should have gotten the Arms Micron version, but, yeah. They're definitely, like, the same size, for sure. There's no height difference because of the remolding. Just extra wings and other thicker parts. Let's see, yeah, let's get that out of the way. And then you have... First edition Viacon. Let me just fix his foot. There we go. First edition is taller and much bulkier. And he's got the backpack and everything, but he's not a jet. Just imagine, people, if we had a first edition jet Viacon, what that would have looked like. Probably very kibble kibblefied. So I'm I'm happy with this one actually. And then now oh, let's just throw a Cyberverse one in there just because. If I can get him to stand. There we go. Very short. Yeah, he can't stand. Let's get him out here. So let's get back to the transformation. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and transform him. Go ahead and take out the Micron. 
Actually, let's just see where we can put him in robot mode first. Let's see, you got shoulder blades, you have a shoulder cannon. You can do down either side. You have a port on the side of the arm here. You can do that, although those ports get stressed for some reason, so watch out. Yes. And then he's got all those other ports right there. There we go. And then a whopping bunch on the wings. I don't know how well those will work in robot mode. Oh, look at this. An extra port right there. That I can't seem to plug into. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Could do that too. Alright, enough with plugging it in on the robot. Let's transform the vehicle. Fold in the hands like normal. Go ahead and flip this up and dune. You hit the head. I don't see that ugly mug, do we? Yeah, we do. Okay, flip these up. unfold these accordion like now there's no back scoop so you don't have to worry about folding that in flip these up already see it looking differently just leave the wings where they are that's like last and first depending on how you're doing it and then Kind of hard to get that on camera. There we go. Ah, and slip it in right there. Ah, uh, then do the same thing over there, down, and in there. Then just clip his whole body together. There we go. And then slide it. the arms. Make sure everything's pegged. It seems like this one has a lot more pegging to do than the PRID version, which I'm surprised with. Ah, actually, before you do the back pegs, make sure this front little slot here is in there first on either side before you decide to peg everything together. Otherwise, it's going to be nasty. We want it clean, don't we? Clean panel lines. No cracking. I heard cracking. No cracking. And flip the wings around. If you got everything right, they should just peg in there without any issues. Which mine just did. Shows I've done it so much. And here you have this awesome awesome looking vehicle mode it's just so sleek we got the back end which looks different we got the wings which are both inverted and then these are a little higher than the other I'm not sure how that would work aerodynamically wish I knew I'd be so detailed about that it's not even funny there's a little oh there a gap ah Oh, I said clean panel lines. Why, Vicon? Why? There we go. Apparently, there's a hidden peg I didn't know about. It. And you got those little scoops right in here, probably for air. Still got a windshield. Now, at first, I thought that this piece was even remolded, but now that we look at the crit version right here. It's exactly the same. I don't know how well you can see that. So that's the same, but the front part's different. The sides are different. The back is different. The underside is different. Similar, but different.
Yeah, see how that's different right there? That's just straight, but this one has got the little diamond in there. Show that it flies. So you got that comparison right there. And then we got the first edition one right here as well. Bring that a little closer so it's in focus. They're all about the same length, which is really awesome. This one has got added length, I think, than these two compared, because I know, yeah, that's a little smaller. But these are about the same size from the looks of it, because of the little added parts in the front here. This one is just massive. It's in vehicle mode, definitely. In robot mode, the only difference is that you get wings on the back. But I just... Ooh, and then the pretty, pretty Decepticon symbol right in the front there. That just looks great. Imagine that thing coming at you. It's like Darth Vader's face right there. Anyway. That's that. And then you got the Cyberverse. Whoa. Whoa. Earthquake again. got the Cyberverse one, which is pretty small. I, I, I gotta say, I did not expect it to be this small, because it totally looked this big. I'm just kidding with you. Alright. And then we got his little Micron. Put it back here. Peg it. If I can see where the pegs are. Right there on the wing. Or... It's actually kind of hard to peg it over there back on the wing. You almost have to do it on the side if you want to peg that in in vehicle mode. Ah, there we go. Got it. Just uh, sideways. If you want to be have your vehicle be gangster and shoot sideways, that's, that's cool. We could do that. There we go. Not all the vehicles have to die. Some of them actually could be gangster. Alright, and then you can also plug in this little uh, pinhole right here on the front. I don't know how well that looks. But let's count them here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So wait, let me start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, I'm counting the hands, the hands, 16, what, this is as many ports as Breakdown, what, honestly, I thought it was 12, don't think I'm missing any, no, yeah, yeah, wow, 16, that is impressive, these wings, they certainly went nuts with the wings. And the nice thing about these newer ones that the car designed themselves, the Micron ports are built in. They're not so obtrusive. It's not even funny. Like on the their knockout and such. So it just helps make these things look sleek. Surprisingly, there is some paint haps right here and on the chest and on the head, it looks like. Uh, but you got couple stickers on each side of the wing for that part, the front right here, the front, what would be the headlights, but I guess just really, really sharp front ends, like cut people with or something. Ah, ah. Um, the other ones were on the legs. I already pointed those out. We're good. We are good. So let's just start the transformation, except we have one more. Thank you, hand comparison. If you want to make your vehicons fly, your little Micron vehicons fly, you probably do it up like this. Hand, where did you get that piece? Lego From a Lego set. <gasps> Are we mixing brands? What? It's a Creo. Hand, why do you lie to me? Anyway, from what set? Should I ask? Oh, from the Prowl set. Really? You think? Well, we'll find out later. Anyway, this does look really cool. Thank you, Hand. 
All right, let's start with the transformation. Like I said, the wing is like the first and last thing you do. So just go ahead and fold that up and fold it all the way back. And then pull the arms out. Raw, like that. Via con smash. And pull these out. Um, just pull it apart now. I guess start down here and then you can work your way up. Lift the feet out. Accordion this awesome engineering up. Doesn't even be deserve to be called like shell former because shell former has such a negative connotation to it. Might as well call it accordion former or awesome former. I don't know. So you fold these out. Other hand, please stop. pull up and the back and adjust the wings as necessary. Get out of them real close. You can have them back or you can have them really sleek and just all the way back like they don't exist. Like you're trying to hide the fact that your jet vehicle is actually a jet. You're supposed to be proud of that. Yes, we know Starscream. Say, have you been able to fix yourself yet? No, shut up. Okay, we'll just leave Starscream alone. And you can now what I do is I angle the port right there and I angle his hand. I put it in and I make it all look straight. Now it looks like it's all like combined and stuff. Like it's in his hand. And it just looks cool. So this is the review of Arms Micron Jet Viacon. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.